I've got another Monday Minute for you. These are quick tips on some photography-related topic. Today we're back in Lightroom, and I want to talk about the power of the Alt key. The Alt key. Now, in general, I think you should learn a few keyboard shortcuts, but using the Alt key in several different places in Lightroom really speeds things up. Let me show you. I'm in the Develop module on the Basic panel. We have these little section headers. Holding down the Alt key changes those and allows you to quickly reset just that section back to its default values. I'm going to undo that. That's one way that the Alt key can help you. Now, in the whites and the blacks, if you hold down the Alt while dragging, it masks out everything except what is clipping. It's just another way to show you what is being blown out in this case, or if you're down in the black section and holding down what is so dark that it is pure black and you're losing information there. If we move down to the detail panel, there's an additional way that Alt can help. And in fact, the Alt key will modify several of these sliders, but I want to show you masking. You hold down Alt while dragging the masking slider and you get this grayscale-like image that shows you where exactly you are applying the sharpening and where, most importantly, you're not. As you hold down Alt and drag to the right, you can see that large areas are turning jet black. Those are being masked out and no sharpening is applied. But my favorite way to use the Alt key is in the adjustment brush. This actually works in the radial and graduated filters when you are editing those with a brush, but let's just stick here in the plain old brush tool. I've got a little bit of brushing done on half dome, but you can see that I was sloppy and I ended up outside the lines. I want to erase. Of course I can come over here and click erase, or I can hold down the Alt key and instantly it switches to the eraser and allows me to quickly erase. While holding down the Alt key, I can make adjustments to the size or whether auto mask is turned off or turned on and then come back up and erase. As soon as I let go Alt, I go back to the brush that allows me to paint the effect, hold down Alt, and it goes back away. That was just a couple of ways that the Alt key can really speed up your editing, either in allowing you to see exactly what you're doing and clipping highlights and shadows or masking or my favorite, just doing a little erasing without even moving back over to the panel to switch brushes. If you found this tip helpful, give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.